Oh, audio. Maybe one of the most mainline uses for the modern smartphone, yet relegated to bastard stepchild level of tech discussion. Hey, Gadget Groupies, there are precious few phone manufacturers now who truly, really, truly do audio well. A shameless plug, I still produce my audio reviews on patreon.com slash guy. I, of course, am talking about the situation for cabled headphones. I get tons of comments from folks voicing their superiority over purchasing Bluetooth headphones. And that's fine, but it's really not fine. There is nothing that compares to the universal compatibility of the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. If you lose your headphones, cabled solutions can be replaced at nearly any retail outlet in the developed world. You don't need to worry about batteries to charge or electronics, which might fail. Durability. More of your headphone purchasing dollar also goes towards audio fidelity, as you don't need to include additional electronics just to connect to your audio source. Speaking of connections, even slight skips or minor audio dropouts drive me crazy. I don't know, maybe my ass is a Faraday chamber, but I've yet to find any phone and Bluetooth headphone combination that can really stay mainline connected the way I use my gadgets. There's a greater variety of listening experiences you can achieve with cabled headphones. From on-ear studio monitors to open and airy circumaurals. I mean, do open back wireless headphones even exist? I've looked. I don't think they really do. Aggressively bassy gaming headsets, inner aural earbuds. You're more likely to find exactly the right fit for your biology and the listening experience you'll most enjoy. So with so few phones doing cabled audio well, uh, either by including mediocre internals or punishing consumers with terrible dongles, which we all know is an accessory cash grab trying to copy Apple and drive people to Bluetooth, it's worth looking at ways we can improve the situation. Maybe your phone is perfect in every other way, but you like your ears enough to want to improve the situation. Now, I never did get to review the Razer phone, but nothing is stopping me from trying out the headphone dongle Razer created to offer 24-bit THX certified sound. Plugging into any system with a USB-C port, this is the only hope we have for creating a new audio standard moving forward. The dongle needs to be a true, proper USB audio input-output device that can be recognized by every computer. The phone, tablet, or computer sends zeros and ones to the dongle, and the dongle is responsible for converting those zeros and ones into electrical pulses your headphones can use to create sound your ears can hear. Big claims from Razer, so is it worth the slightly higher price tag? No, not really. Testing out the Razer dongle on an Honor, an LG, and a Blackberry, they didn't walk into a bar. These numbers are upper mid-pack, a good signal-to-noise ratio against a nice quiet noise floor, low distortion, but this dongle on its own doesn't seem to communicate the full bitrate and frequency spectrum of the audio file being played. It would seem the Razer phone knows what to do with this hardware better than Android does, as the frequency response here is truncated hard to 48 hertz. Happily, the Razer dongle is able to outperform most phones I've reviewed this year, especially Android dongle players like Motorola, Huawei, and HTC. If it can beat those phones, why not snatch one up? Why not get one? Why not buy one? Well, because the Google Pixel 2 dongle offers roughly the same performance for half the price. Nearly the same frequency response, noise floor, signal to noise ratio, and just slightly worse distortion numbers with almost exactly the same amp output. The only advantage offered by this dongle is more rugged construction and a slightly longer cable length, which is actually a nice perk, but maybe not a primary purchasing motivator for me, especially considering we're talking about a dongle, which means you'll likely lose it at some point. And for the same price, you could buy two Pixel 2 dongles in advance of losing one of them. The Razer dongle is a nice improvement over most phones, and near universal support is really handy. You're less likely to lose a dongle when you can just keep it connected to your headphones 24-7, 365 and you don't have to unplug your headphones from the dongle to use the same headphones on a PC or a laptop. But unless you're using it with a Razer phone, you're not really getting your money's worth. As always, thanks so much for watching. Below this video are links on how you can support production on this channel, including my master list of partnerships and affiliate programs. 
Or please consider contributing directly on patreon.com slash some gadget guy. That's the home to all of my future camera and audio deep dive reviews. See how your phone really stacks up against the competition. Some incredible folks are out there supporting on that Patreon campaign, and we'd love for you to join Like-Minded Geeks. It's a fun community full of people that really love to dig into this kind of tech. You know where you can find me around the rest of the internet, at some gadget guy on the Twitters, the Instagrams, the Facebooks, and I will catch you on the next review.